up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nicole Fay, and welcome to another great video got some good tips that we're gonna discuss but before we even get into the video i just want to say thank you guys so much for 500k subscribers yes it is 500 of y'all that is scary, okay? I can't even imagine that amount of freaking people. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I did do a giveaway. I did it on my YouTube shorts. So if you entered the giveaway, thank you so much for entering the giveaway. And don't give up because I'm gonna do a giveaway every time I hit a new number. So keep the hope alive, okay? And keep trying because you never know. It might be you next time that wins the giveaway. Again, thank you guys so much for a half a million subscribers. I love you guys and let's get into this video. All right, so today's topic is high. Hygiene. hygiene tips and girls tips that I wish I knew sooner. I feel like just now in the past couple like two or three years my hygiene has gotten way better. I'm gonna just be honest. This is a safe free zone. Okay. This is a safe space. My hygiene back in the day like when I was a teenager and in my early 20s was not the best. I did not know any of these tips. I did not know a lot about hygiene. Very embarrassing and scary time to reminisce about when I used to stink. In high school I used to come out the gym and not put on deodorant again not even have any wipes in my bag to you know wipe the sweat from under my arms it was bad and then I'm going to class after right <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? Like I said, these are a couple tips I'm going to give you guys of some tips that really does change my hygiene, like it's changed my whole perspective and my whole self-confidence when it comes to hygiene, okay? These are tips that has really helped. So let's get into number one. First tip is whole body deodorant versus anti-deodorant. This is a tip I learned recently that anti-perspirant deodorant, which is deodorant that just stops the sweat, and regular deodorant, like whole body regular deodorant, just stops the smell. I never knew it was a difference, but there there is a really big difference. I personally don't have that's a fucking lie, okay? I still will smell, but I sweat more than I smell, if that makes sense. But if you smell more, you probably want to use more antiperspirant deodorants if that is your biggest issue, that smell is your biggest issue. And if you just wanna stop sweating, I would suggest you use like whole body deodorant. Antidepressant deodorant I like to use is Dove. Dove has some really good ones. And then a whole body deodorant. I like to use the Lumi, the Lumi, L-U-M-E deodorant that you can get from Target. That's like 15 fucking dollars. That deodorant is expensive but it's good i like to put that under my arms under my boobs between my thighs anywhere you sweat babe that deodorant will not disappoint you okay okay tip number two is also a tip that i have recently discovered as well which is double cleansing i have talked about double cleansing before double cleansing is something that i didn't even think about doing you know how you double cleanse your face so like you're supposed to double cleanse your face if you're not double cleansing your face i'm gonna need you to log off but if you are listen up double cleansing your face you know you use a bomb like to take off your makeup and spf and like all of the heavy serums and stuff that you have on your face. You also want to go in and break it up with oil, like an oil cleanser or oil balm to really break up the particles of like the moisturizers and SPF and makeup. And then you go in with the cleanser. And just like you do your face, you should do your body. So I treat my face just like my body. Like I double cleanse. I use like body serums. I exfoliate and things like that because it's skin. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it makes sense because it's all skin, you know? And double cleansing is really good for those days where you are nasty sweaty and funky honey I especially like to double cleanse around the time of my menstrual cycle or like when I'm coming from the gym or if I'm like sweaty I definitely double cleanse so I like to like go in first with like a body product that like targets my skin problems so like for example I have like really bad back acne I've had it all my life okay acne is just something I've suffered with it's really hard for acne survivors like me people that don't have acne don't understand how hard it is to have acne I am an acne survivor so I go in first with like body products that are like for acne so so I do that first and then I'll go in with a my second body wash should be like a smelling good body wash so that's how I like strategize my like shower routine I go in with a product first that helps target my skin issues and then the next product next body wash I go in with is a body wash that smells that helps me smell good so that's what I like to do that has really helped my hygiene the third tip is a tip that I have talked about on this account numerous of times but I will forever this is the like golden goose the rainbow to hygiene washing your downstairs area your kuda mama area properly okay a lot of people all all i've heard all my life was use water use water use water use water and i agree use water definitely don't be using any type of fragrance or scents up your 
time. You don't want to be putting anything up there. But I sometimes like to bend the rules. And I do sometimes like to use like some stuff down there. So I'll use like unscented body soap. Dove is a really good one. The CeraVe facial wash. Sensitive unscented facial wash. I don't put it. I put it. Because sometimes it's just, woo, girl, back up. That's how I feel sometimes, especially when it's that time of the month. I can't just put water down there. Water is not actually cleaning it. Okay, if you get my drift. That's an organ. You got to clean that organ, okay, honey? Those are the things I like to do. But definitely, you know, start like really like, you know, make sure you're cleaning down there with your hands. I don't like to use a tile. I'll take like my, the unscented soap or like the unscented facial cleanser. Or the only feminine wash I do use is the P, what is it, PBHD, uh, boric acid wash down there I'll use that but I like I said I don't put it inside I just put it you know between my lips you know, and just get it clean. I haven't had any issues. Everybody's body is different, but I don't think water is enough. And like I said, when it's the time of the month for me, water is not enough, ma'am. Tip number four is something that has really helped change my oral hygiene, which is changing your toothbrush often. Probably like change your toothbrush like every two weeks. I'm not a dentist. I like to change mine like every two weeks. I change mine often and also scrape your tongue. I've been knowing about the scraping tongue for a while, but the changing the toothbrush often thing is something that I have been doing recently because for some reason like I always like to use soft bristles because I heard using a soft bristle is better for your gums and you're just your you know what is it a natal um enamel a natal I don't know I like to use the soft bristles and when you use the soft bristles I like to brush hard but I try my best not to brush hard I don't want to mess up my gums but I do I'm just very heavy handed and I always fuck up my toothbrush so I have to change it anyway because my toothbrush is just flattened out because of the soft bristles but yes definitely change your toothbrush and scrape that tongue honey that bristle not only sits on that teeth, you know, it's just all that food between that teeth from that cheese, double, double, triple cheeseburger you had, but also it sits on your tongue. So definitely scraping the tongue and just making sure your like oral hygiene is up to part. But changing my toothbrush often, scrubbing my tongue has really, really helped change my oral hygiene. Okay, so the fifth tip is shaving and waxing. I have not shaved or waxed. So if you see a little hair under my arms, man, your business, okay? I um, am getting a wax coming up in a couple days. So I've been saving my underarm hairs for her, okay? So yes, definitely down there though. Like definitely shaving and waxing, whatever you prefer down there really does help older issues. I have noticed a huge difference, especially when it's hot and it's the summer. Oh, it is the worst to be walking around with a hairy and also a hairy and you also on your cycle. That combination is just not madness and badness combination. That combination is not good. So I like to keep it smelling fresh down there and under your arms. Definitely shave or wax whatever you prefer. I like to do both depending on how I'm feeling. But I definitely have noticed a huge difference in my hygiene when I do shave. I feel like when I shave, I still sweat, but I won't smell. That's the key, okay? I think it doesn't like stop the sweating, but it does help the smell. I feel like I'm extra smelly when I'm hairy. For some reason it's weird but that's why I like to shave and definitely just trim my area down there and shave and wax under my arms to stop the smell so if you're having those kind of issues you don't know what the issue is go with that anti antipressorant deodorant or the regular deodorant and shave and wax and the sixth tip that I have is a tip that might be obvious but I still feel like this needs to be said like I said this is a safe space this is a safe space ladies and gentlemen you need to shower every day I know duh Nicole you need to shower every day everybody doesn't know that okay everybody doesn't know that I didn't I used to not shower every single day before y'all eat me alive in the comments you know let's just be good for real this is how I went about it if I didn't do anything rigorous that day like if I didn't work out if I didn't do anything that caused me to sweat or smell I didn't shower okay what is you know if I've been laying in the bed all day I've been in the house all day I'm not funky you know what I'm saying but I have definitely changed my mindset I do not think that way anymore and I definitely do get in the shower every single day just to keep up with your hygiene and your body older. I know I'm not the only person out there that has not showered every day. Did I say that right? I know I'm not the only person out there that did not shower every day. I think I said that right. I don't know. But anyway, yes, you gotta do it. I know you feel like you've been in the bed all day. You haven't really did anything. Still get in the shower, okay? Just to keep up with your hygiene and to keep you in tip-top shape. Get your ass in the shower. That is basically the gifs for all the tips that has really helped change my hygiene and just my confidence when it comes to hygiene. I hope these tips definitely helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments if any of these tips you have used and how they have helped you or any tips that you have to give to us that we can use to help with hygiene and just give us some girl tips. Thank you guys again for 500k. Oh my gosh, if the Nicole could see me, the Nicole from five years ago, two years ago, three years ago can see me right now, she would be in complete fucking shock.
shock and would not believe that this is actually possible, okay? Like, I don't wanna get sentimental on here. You know, I don't wanna start crying, but this really does mean a lot. And I love every single one of you guys. And it's a lot of y'all. And if I love every single one of y'all, that's a lot of love I got, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys again. Like I said, leave me some comments down below of some hygiene and girl tips you guys have for me. And I will see you guys next video.